Okay, welcome back to the Being Found show. Uh, I, I personally think it's the best two hours of radio for business. Um, if you're listening to the Being Found show, you have a better chance of being found by more buying customers. Super excited. I've got one of our past guests back on, Rob Redding, who um, I think turned out to be a little more popular than I am on that particular show. So <laughs> It could just be because I'm from Canada. <laughs> it, it, might, it might be Canada. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. How do you feel about that, Rob? What's that, being from Canada? No, being more popular than me and my own show. <laughs> hey, whatever whatever uh, works. <laughs> I'm here to help. <laughs> all right, cool. Um, all right, so uh, in today's show, Rob, I wanted to uh, kind of get caught up in where you're at, because like I said, a lot of people really were interested in you in the last show. Mm-hmm. Um, so, you know, I want to hear what kind of websites you're doing or what's going on. But then I, I, I thought it'd be kind of fun to go into – a segment we call um, "You Asked for It," and, okay. and es- essentially that's where we answer questions um, people have about you know whatever the website, the internet, or or, or whatever's going on out there. So you're going to be good. on the "You Asked for It." <laughs> I'm, I'm done with it. <laughs> All right, cool. Okay, but before we before we get going uh, on some of your projects lately, I got to know what is. Bean Boozled Mondays. <laughs> Have you ever, you've never heard of Bean Boozled, the game? No, I don't know what this oh, okay. is. So, yeah, so Bean Boozled is a game. With a, it's, a, it's just a crap load of jelly beans yeah. and uh, various colors. But the brown jelly bean can either be chocolate or it could be dog food. You don't know which flavor you're getting. Okay. So we started playing uh, just with the guys to uh, kind of see. So there's sour milk or coconut, or there's you know boogers or uh, sour apple, that kind of stuff. Uh, right. And, uh, so yeah, it's uh, it's definitely a risky game to play, and it's definitely gross when you get the uh, dead fish. Uh, uh-huh. But uh, you know, it keeps everybody happy. <laughs> yeah. Or at least so, keeps you happy. Do you play or you? Happy. It's fun to watch. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> Yeah, you've got a video on your Facebook page, which I suggest people go watch. What, um, real quick, what is your Facebook? Page? Uh, just Reading Designs, Reading Designs Inc. Yeah, Reading Designs Inc. Oh, it's Reading Designs. Yeah. Yeah, that's a that's a funny video. Okay, so other than playing video or playing uh, board games where you make your employees eat terrible things, yeah, what is it you do? Um, so yeah, so we are a uh, web design um, agency, graphic design, marketing. Um, we take care of uh, absolutely everything um, when a, a business or a nonprofit or a church or whoever is uh, looking to go online. So we'll do everything straight from the logo, branding, um, registering the domain name, setting up hosting, uh, dealing with emails, and then the graphic design work for websites, build it using whatever platform um, kind of the client has in mind. Uh, e-commerce, uh, I mean, really, we just do, uh, we do everything that's related to getting a business online and uh, getting a good presence. Yeah, it's interesting. Um, uh, you know, one of the things that I noticed about your team is you guys are pretty strong on design. And, you know, not everybody is strong on design. Mm-hmm. Uh, at least, as a matter of fact, a lot of us web companies aren't strong on design. Um, and so what I was kind of curious about, do, do your customers generally come to you with uh, some design ideas or specs that they think it should look like? Or are you extracting that out of them and, and it's your creative process that's coming up with these great designs? Um, yeah, we, the client will usually come in with, with an idea or a general, you know, we like these colors, that kind of thing. But we usually stop them in their tracks and, and always present them with a concept idea that mm-hmm. we come up with kind of separate from them. So it gives them an idea of what, because, uh, I mean, we're looking at the modern trends. We're looking at, um, you know, the mobile side of things, how it's going to work. And, and we create a concept based on that um, along the lines of what their business is. So sometimes we get the client coming in right away with, uh, with options, but usually we create a, a, a concept first. And then at that point, then we rip it apart. They tell us what they like, what they hate, um, what they need to see. And, uh, and we go from there. Okay. Let me ask some, is this something that uh, larger organizations need to do and can do or is is this something that you can even do for you know small local companies and and things like that and i guess in other words what i'm asking is this a step that should be skipped for some companies or or um is this doable for all size companies um 
I mean, it's still for, doable for all. We pro, we provide a concept, and actually, we don't even we don't even charge for our concepts when we're first meeting with a client. Um, mm-hmm. it's, it's a good starting point, but uh, we do it for for anybody, um, small, medium, large. Mm-hmm. Sometimes when you get into the larger businesses, though, they already have uh, a preset look for their other locations or whatever. So you've got to stick into more of a cookie cutter kind of layout for them. Right. Um, but more of the small, medium um, stuff. You know they they want to have a unique look, and it's just a it's it's not pulling a template from somewhere, right? Like we're creating something from scratch that is hopefully going to look a little bit more unique um, for that client um, online. And you're bringing that across not just their website. I feel like when we talk about this stuff, people think we're just talking about a website, right? Mm-hmm. But <laughs> you're you're bringing that look across their emails, their ads, everything, everything, yeah. So yeah, so we make sure everything is consistent uh, with their their business cards, to flyers. Um, if they want their vehicle deckled, um, we'll do the artwork up for a vehicle wrap, um, just so that whenever you see their logo, their name, um, everything is consistent, no matter what you're looking at. So, what do you think about these companies that are completely separate as pure brand agencies? You know, there are companies that just do that part. Mm-hmm. Uh, what's your thought on that? Um, yeah, I mean, brand agencies are usually, um, have a development team as part of them. So I guess we're kind of opposite. There's a, you have the brand or the marketing agency that do, uh, do that side first. And then they've got the, the web development team kind of in the back end to put it together. And then we're kind of the other way around where we're, we're heavy on the development and the, the website end, and then we have the marketing and the, the branding as kind of our, our side thing as well. Um, it, it really kind of all works together, whichever way you're looking at going about it. Mm-hmm. Kind of where we are in the clientele that we pull right now, they're not into um, large marketing budgets. Um, and, and some of them don't even care. I mean, we, we deal a lot of small business in small towns, and they just need to market to their local people. They don't care about somebody, you know, five hours away from them. So, um, you know, having big, big marketing plans for that kind of doesn't always work out. But um, yeah. Okay, so that's a good point. Now I know it's kind of sensitive to get into pricing and costs and all that, but you know how this show is. We're we're you know we're trying to make sense of this for businesses, for and, sure. And, and understanding ballpark price um, mm-hmm. is, you know, you just can't get around it. It's it's one of those things. So so when you talk about doing this for small businesses, now I don't want you to go tell me your specific pricing if you don't feel like it or any of that. But but how much should you know, a local retail store with one location or a nail salon or a local attorney, um, you know, how much does that single location plan on spending a month or a year for online marketing in general? Yeah. Well, first of all, we bill in Canadian dollars, so it's yeah. beneficial. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, yeah it, Really, we so I, I mean I have no problems kind of sharing. I mean we have a basic package um, that would be a starter package that starts at twenty five hundred dollars, mm-hmm. um, and so that's going to be um, you know your five page website, a custom uh, layout design. Um, it's going to have a year of hosting. It's going to have your domain names. It's going to have SEO. It's going to have all that stuff. So mm-hmm. it's not just a web page. We're setting you up to to market well to do well. Um, so if, I mean, there's, there's lots of people that, you know, we'll do it for $500. There's lots of people that'll, that'll do it for, you know, a thousand, but at the end of the day, you're going to get what you pay for. It. Right. And, uh, you know, when I started, I started doing it for a hundred bucks there and a hundred bucks there. And, and, uh, it, you know, it, that was kind of our skill level and that's what you got. You got a hundred dollar website. Right. So what we find, you know, a, a good starting point is if you want something quality, you're going to spend you know, probably in that fifteen hundred to twenty five hundred dollar range. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, we go up from there. So if you want to have a content management system or you're getting into e commerce or you want database driven stuff, you know, then it's you just your your pricing goes up. But we started about twenty five hundred bucks here. Um, yeah. For, what is for that? Do you know the conversion in American dollars? Is that a, is that uh, more or less? No, I think if it was the other way around, if it was twenty five hundred US, it's like a million Canadian. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, okay. So uh, yeah, you know that sounds right to me. Um, around here, I it's it is one of the things you know a lot of these businesses will pay seven hundred dollars a month for Yellow Page, 
as, oh, yeah. which probably hasn't bought, brought him a lead. But but then when someone says, "Hey, spend three hundred bucks a month on search engine optimization and getting your directories right," you yeah, know, th- 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 it doesn't make sense to him. So I think part of it is what you were just doing is explaining the value and why it matters. Well, that's what it is because most people are going to, well, you know, ninety percent of people are going to go to Google to search for you first, right? So right. you want to make sure that your your site is optimized, that everything is is geared towards that. And around here, we don't uh, we have monthly packages for people that want you know the marketing or maintenance packages. But if you came into us and you just wanted to get a website up and going, you know, it's a flat rate of uh, twenty five hundred bucks to create it, and that's a one time fee. And then you have you have your yearly renewals just to renew yeah. hosting. That kind of stuff, but yeah, really, we want to keep it as affordable um, for people as possible to get a, a high quality website, um, but still have a professional and, and not break the bank and get them being found. Okay, so we're coming up on a break here. Uh, I'm here with Rob Redding from Redding Designs. Interestingly enough, not from Redding, um, <laughs> but if you Google them in Redding, you'll actually find them. Uh, okay, we're gonna go to break and we'll be right back. <laughs> 